everyone, it's been a while, but I have not done something that I will be putting in my editorial section of this channel, and that is a book review. And this book I really wanted to do because it was written by my cousin, Richard Freed, who is married, to, and he's basically on my my uh, my dad's side of the family, and he even autographed it for me when I went to a family event and saw him, which is awesome. When I talked with him, he told me that it took a lot out of him, a lot of energy out of him to write this. He had a lot of edits. It took him a l quite a few years to write it. But I'll tell you what, it's worth it. Um, it's, it's called Wired, Wired Child Debunking Popular Technology Myths. Great book if you want to have a discussion about technology, online things, the online life, what it means to raise a child in this technological world. And if you agree with what he says, you're going to absolutely adore the book. If you don't, you're going to have some issues. But basically, he comes from the stance of, you know what? Technology isn't really helping people like they, it's being marketed to us. It's actually hurting people. And because of that, this is why, and his, this is what his thesis is, <clears throat> because of that, this is why you have families not communicating, why there's this kind of addiction, because, and he does point out, which I thought was pretty interesting, and I never knew this, that there are companies that have designed games, you know, like Candy Crush or Angry Birds, specifically for that addictive personality. And that is definitely something to keep in mind when you want to expose your child, or even yourself, to video games and that and the like. Um... Personally speaking, I actually like the book. It was, it's a very easy read, easy to understand. You don't have too many technical or psychological terms that will make you have to look up in a dictionary or do some research. Um, a lot of great sources. You can tell it's been researched well. You can tell it's been edited well. And in addition to that, he does give a lot of case studies from his own personal experience because he does work as a psychologist. Um... And I know his wife has helped him a lot. They he also had they also have two kids, so he's actually put he's actually practiced what he preaches, and I think that's pretty noble. A lot of authors they don't do that, especially when it's something like this. Um, what's been really cool is that he has uh, Richard has also um, been quoted in several Huffington Post articles, which I've seen recently. Um, he also has a website and a blog that you can subscribe to related to this very topic and it's interesting how he's gotten the conversation to keep going and to get people to really talk about this because I mean and let's face it at first we thought oh this internet thing it's a big thing it's a great deal and yes it is a great deal it's helped a lot it's it's brought people together from other parts of the world you never would have thought of it's underground great things however there is that dark side we do need to face as people who either work in tech work with technology, use technology for whatever means, like here on YouTube, for example, or what I do on VapeNet. And we need to be aware of some of the pitfalls that we can run into, like the Facebook drama. That actually attracts the addictive personality and the psych and attracts the psyche. Why? Because you're addicted, because you want to be informed and you want to keep going. That's something I never really thought of, but if you think about it, that is true. Why are people involved with Facebook drama? Because it feeds into our dictionary. In di dictionary? Addiction. Okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Second thing to keep in mind with this. You know, when you're playing Candy Crush and you get frustrated because you want to keep playing all the time. It's designed for that addictive personality. So I think if we're aware of our addic addictive personalities and if we are aware that our you know, children can get addictive personalities. I think that's a good wake-up call. That might be a sign for us to say, hey, wait a minute, maybe we need to unplug for a little bit. Maybe we need to step away from our phones, you know. Like, for example, why, te you know, like the whole texting and driving thing. Why do you need to send a message while you're driving at the same time and put your life as well as somebody else's life in danger? I mean, look at all the accidents ha that have happened as a result of texting and driving at the same time. Perfect case. I mean, that's a great case to state, hey, you know what? Keep your phone aside. Concentrate on your driving. If the person really wants to hear from you, they will either have to wait or they will leave a message, and then you'll get back to them at your own convenience. So, anyway, 
I th I think it's a great summer. This is you know with with summer upon us and summer reading. I think it's a great book. I'm really happy for Richard. This is definitely a keeper because hey, you know, it's somebody that I know, somebody in the family, and I got it autographed, so it's actually more special. So if you guys have a chance and you want to read the book, go to the link below on Amazon. Check out uh, Richard Freed's uh, website, www.richardfreed.com. And also, I do plan on writing a re Amazon review, so that way, you know, to get more people involved and interested in this. And I know I promised him I would also do this YouTube video. So anyway, that's a shout out to Richard, my cousin Ray, and the family. And also a shout out to anybody who wants this book. So get it and read it. And I hope you have some discussions.